it is believed that the main quality of a used car is reliability. But looking at the catchy and imposing 407, you don't want to think about it. What is hidden under the external charm of the Frenchman? French cars have always been distinguished by an extraordinary and futuristic appearance. And this applied not only to small cars, for which bright and non-trivial design was the rule rather than the exception, but also in family models. Therefore, we can say that the purchase of Peugeot 407 is an emotional purchase. Is it really so problematic in operation? We have to find out. The car was produced in the form of a sedan and station wagon, which differed even more pretentious and original appearance. And a couple of years later, the stylish 407 coupe joined them. The engine range includes four petrol engines with a volume of 1.8 liters, 125 horsepower, 2.0 liters, 140 horsepower, 2.2 liters, 163 horsepower, and a 2.9 liter V6, 211 horsepower. And the same number of diesel engines from 1.6 to 2.7 liters, 100 to 204 horsepower. In our country, as always, gasoline engines are most widely used. Gearboxes, 5 and 6 speed manual, as well as 4 and 6 band automatics. In contrast to the daring appearance, the interior of the 407th is designed in a calm and traditional style. Ergonomics will suit drivers of any height and physique. The quality of finishing materials is quite decent. As for consumer properties, here everything is in order with the car. It is quite spacious and roomy for a family segment model. In the basic version, the Peugeot 407 has climate control, front and side airbags, ESP dynamic stabilization system, front electric windows, electric and heated mirrors, fog lights, an onboard computer and an audio system. In the secondary market, there are more often copies with alloy wheels, power accessories, Zipon headlights. Expensive versions of the car can boast of electric front seats, driver's knee airbag. Peugeot 407 cannot be called a problem car, but nevertheless, during the period of operation, cash injections are inevitable. The weak point can be recognized as the upper engine mount. And if you ignore the malfunction, then the lower one will soon fail. And then the repair will have to pay twice as much. Short-lived various electronic components and sensors, such as crankshaft, idle and mass airflow. The short life of the water pump is mainly due to its bearing. Gearboxes are generally reliable, but some Schumachers manage to burn the clutch ahead of its due date. Sometimes after 50,000 kilometers of aggressive driving, you have to change its mechanism. But remember that often with the disc and release bearing you will also have to update the flywheel, which will add about 20,000 rubles to the costs. In winter, the manual gearbox drive cables freeze. After warming up the engine and box, as a rule, its performance is fully restored. In a fully independent suspension, where bearings are not very reliable, the steering rack is not durable. Repairs may be required up to 100,000 kilometers. Engines. Engines are seen in oil consumption, up to 600 grams per 1,000 kilometers. Gasoline engines of the 407th are equipped with a toothed belt in the timing drive. The pump on a 2-liter engine is subject to mandatory revision and renewal with each replacement of the timing belt, that is, after 90,000 kilometers. Its body, made of plastic, cannot withstand more than 100,000 to 120,000 kilometers and begins to leak. On the other engines, the water pump serves, as expected, two timing belt replacements. Transmission. The mechanics are quite reliable, but there are complaints about the machines. If the six-speed is problem-free, then the four-band sins with dullness and frequent breakdowns. Electrical equipment. Electrical equipment is quite reliable. True, minor failures and breakdowns do not happen so rarely. In winter, the air conditioning damper bursts. The part itself costs a penny, but to replace it, you will have to completely disassemble the torpedo and refill the air conditioner in a new way. Suspension. In the suspension of a progressive design, triangular front levers and a multi-link at the rear, resistant stabilizer bushings, tie rod ends, and shock absorbers are most often changed. Body. The body is well protected from corrosion. After two to three winters, chip paintwork begins to appear on the front of the body, sills, and wheel arches.